video is brought to you by Maypen Educational Center, catering to evening CSEC classes and chess classes. Call 876-337-7374 or 876-775-6692. We got you covered preparing for exams. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Here we go. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. Breaking news coming your way all the way from Ukraine. Yes, that is right. All the way from Ukraine as Reggae Boy Kahim Paris has signed with Wait, Dynamo bro. Kiev in the Ukrainian Premier League. Yes, the same Kahim Paris that has been doing so well in Slovenia the past couple of years. This deal now done and dusted. There was some interest on deadline day and it was building. However, there was some, you could say, you know, concern as to whether this deal would get over the line. However, this deal has gotten over the line. It got over the line. There were concerns that it would not, but it has. And we're so delighted that it has gotten over the line and are really happy that this has cemented and done. So what are the details of this sort of deal? So for Kahim Paris, he impressed at Copper. Copper is a team that were applying their trade, currently applying their trade in the Slovenian top flight. They finished second last season. And he... Paris scored 11 goals in 4 to 1 appearances. I guess you could say the sort of interest from Dynamo Kiev came from his time at FC Kirka. FC Kirka, who plies their trade in the Slovenian Second League. Now, the interest came in the 2020 2021 season, where he notched 16 goals in 19 appearances. This is where you could say the interest came for Kahim Paris. There were persons from Eastern Europe as, you know, Slovenia, Slovakia, those countries are not far from Ukraine. And the Ukrainian Premier League looks at players in these divisions. And when they heard about Akihim Paris doing so well at Kirka, that sent the alarm bells. Then they took a closer look last season at Kopa. And this is what brought about a club record transfer fee just over 1 million euros for Kahim Paris. Kahim Paris, a 1 million euro player. And guess what? A portion of that is going to end up in the hands of Cavalier Football Club. It's a small percentage, but still, it's a percentage. And that is something that has to be worked out and spoken about and i'm sure it will be i'm sure over time it's something that will be discussed but for kahim paris this is a progressive step this is a forward step this is an important step in his development as a player very 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 important step that under 20 team was talented simon yes it really really was let's get a bit more insight into this deal shall we and get more information on it.
as the information on falls left, right, and center. So that's the situation that with Paris, the deal has come over the line. It's a one million pound move, Euro, midfielder. He's a newcomer, reported, reported on their official website. The 22 year old has become a, a Kiev player. The contract is four years with an option to extend it for a further year. His previous club was uh, was Copper. Financial details of the deal are unknown, but I, I think it's a mil- I know for a fact we're talking about a million euros here. Paris plays as a right winger, but can also play on the left wing of the attack. This is the second Dynamo newcomer after Vladislav Kabev. In 2019, the Jamaican moved to Europe, signing a contract with the Slovenian Domžali. Later, he moved to Kirka and later to Copper, with whom he became the vice captain, vice champion of the Slovenian 2021-2022 season. The wing has 10 goals and three assists in 34 championship matches, and he's played six matches for the regular boys. Yes, he made his debut for Jamaica when he was 17 years old. Yeah, this came in 2017 when he took on Trinidad and Tobago in a friendly match in August 2017. Jamaica winning that game by two goals to one. So that was his debut and that debut came after his performances at that CONCACAF well yeah CONCACAF under 17 championship impressed greatly and now has progressed to the ranks of Dynamo Kiev quite an exciting time an exciting opportunity for him and we look forward to what the future lies for him. It's coming from far, you know, because as it relates to the player, as it relates to specifically with Kahim Paris, honestly, this is a player that should have been in Europe for a long time now. I'll never forget 2016. I sat with him on a coach at the JFF residence and he said to me, there is an interest from from a Swedish club. And I told him that if the opportunity is genuine, I said, go for it. It didn't materialize. However, the right opportunity came his way, got playing time in Slovenia. Didn't get a lot of time at Domžali, but played at Kirka, played at Kopo, and now at Dynamo Kiev. Another wonderful, wonderful opportunity for him to strut his stuff. And you know what's so impressive? Dynamo Kiev are the most successful team in Ukraine Premier League. 16 league titles. 16 league titles. 16. So they're the most successful team in the league. Exciting. And when you look at Dynamo Kiev, yes, they've had a they have a tough start to the, the season. They lost their opener to Dini Pro. 3 0 in their opener. But let me tell you guys something about Dynamo Kiev. They play at the Olympic Stadium. That's where they play their games. And this stadium has a capacity of 70,000 people. This is a fantastic facility. Absolutely brilliant facility. This was the stadium for, for Euro 2018 final and also the final of the 2018 Champions League, which Real Madrid defeated Liverpool by three goals to one. This is a great place, an outstanding place, a great place to learn, grow, develop. This is a good environment. He has a coach in Mercia Lusashu that knows exactly what he can do and achieve. So a great player in, in Paris. And I know you guys might be saying, all right, 
what the situation with the Ukrainian Premier League. What are the places like for Europe and all of that jazz. All right. So in the Ukrainian Premier League, it's a league with 16 teams. 16 teams in the league. The bottom two get relegated. The teams that finish third and fourth from bottom, they go to the relegation playoffs. All right. The top team qualifies for the Champions League playoff round. The second place team qualifies for the Champions League second qualifying round. The third place team qualifies for the Europa League playoff round. And the fourth and fifth place teams head to the Europa Conference League. One for the third round, one for the second round. So five European places for Ukrainian clubs. Five five European places. And I think that's quite decent. But as it relates to specifically, as it relates to this club in particular, what are the situations? What is the, the situation? What is the deal with Dynamo Kiev? Well, let's have a look at it. And I'll be getting to your comments as well quite shortly. This is where Dynamo Kiev right right now. So into the Champions League, got the better of Fenerbahce, 2-1 in aggregate after a nil all scoreline at home. Well, you know what that means already. Dynamo Kiev defeated Sturm Graz 1-0. So now the situation that they are in right now, the Champions League playoff round they lost to Benfica, but they qualify for the UA for Europa League. And they're in the group stages. If they finish top of the group, they'll head to the round of 16. If they finish second, they advance to the knockout round playoffs. And if they finish third, they'll be transferred to the Europa Conference League. Cool. September 8th. Fenerbahce against Dynamo Kiev. Kane Paris will be eligible for selection for this game away in Turkey. Dynamo Kiev's home games this season were played in Krakow in Poland. As it relates to their games at home, their home games were playing at Arena Lviv. So that is the situation there. Dave says, afternoon, Simon. How's the weather in our beautiful Jamaica? Good move, Fakihim. Right now, it's a lot of rain. There is a tropical depression building in the air, so there is some rain. To be quite frank with you, I'm not complaining because the summer has been quite humid. So what I'll say there is that I don't mind the, the drizzle because it does keep the place nice and cool. So no qualms about that at all. IS Ab says, what's good, my friend? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Let's get to play in the Europa League. Not bad. There you go. And Dynamo Kiev should, should get out of this group into the Europa League. And worst, worst, worst case scenario, they'll head to the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League. Worst case scenario. Absolutely, you're right. They are in the Europa League. They're in the Europa League, and they have some work to do. And I know they'll be able to, get to accomplish that. It's been quite a journey for Kahim Anthony Paris. Born January 6, 2000 in St. Anne. However, at he attended Dintil Technical High School. Played for Cavalier, scored goals for Cavalier. He averaged almost a goal every four games for Cavalier as a teenager. Wow. Played for Jamaica at U17, U20, and U23 level. He also played for Jamaica at the Pan American Games in 2019. In this tournament, the Jamaican team took on Honduras, Uruguay, and Peru in the group stages of the tournament. Jamaica fell 3-1 to Honduras, 2-0 to Uruguay, but defeated Peru 2-0. In the placement stage of the competition, 
Jamaica finished sixth overall. And that's how the competition ended from a Jamaican standpoint. So that's what happened in terms of the tournament itself. It'll be interesting to see what will happen in terms of how the 2023 edition of the Pan American Games, how teams will be decided. But the Pan Am Games, October 20 to November 5. So that's something to look forward to. And certainly we're, we're eagerly anticipating that and seeing how the tournament itself progresses. We'll be taking your comments as well. Let me know your thoughts about Kahim Paris's move and your thoughts about it. If you think this is a good move, if you think that this was a move too soon for him at 22, let me know your thoughts in the comments below about it and then we can take it from there. Let's see what you guys are saying in the comments. Very good move for Paris. Hopefully the other Jamaican in Slovenia that played at Harborview can also kick on as well. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree with you there. Yeah, Chris Kajay daily has some work to do. But I'm confident he will be able to continue. The young Jamaican should be heading to Slovenia and other leagues like this in Europe rather than going to USL. If you gave me a choice right now between playing in USL or going to Slovenia, even if it's the Slovenian second division, that is perfectly fine because one, you're going to get games. You're going to get playing time. Two, Europe is an easily accessible market. Europe is so interconnected that you can go on a train right now from London and it takes you all the way to Eastern Europe. Yes, you know about the Channel Tunnel that goes from London to Paris. And when you arrive in Paris, you can literally go anywhere else in Europe. So persons and football are accessible. And Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, Turkey are looking. And countries in Western Europe... Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, France, Portugal, Spain, England, Scotland are also looking at, at what's happening in Eastern Europe. So Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia are markets that Jamaicans can use to, to grow and be nurtured and developed. This is not something that should be brushed aside by any at all. The transfer is confirmed by the club, so how can it be fake? This is Reggae Boy's commentary. Fake information is not discussed here. Who is his agent? His agent is Kevin Cohen. Kevin Cohen is his agent. Yeah, Kevin Cohen is the agent.
Right. Not sure what happened to the Wi-Fi there, but I thank you very much for your patience. Almost anywhere in Europe is better than US. So looking now, see for us to make a move next. Honest for I can't believe you asked if that was fake news. Unbelievable. You know, fake news is not discussed here. This is so this is a, a easy move to Germany or France if he does well. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a four-year contract, so he has a deal until the summer of 2026. And he has then extended it and to extend it a further year. Four plus one, that's right. Yes, abs. An example is William who went from Brazil to Ukraine, then to Russia, then to England. Yep. Yep. And remember, there's this guy at Manchester United. He goes by the name Federico Rodriguez de Paula Santos or more commonly known as Fred. Yeah, Fred after left Brazil, went to Shakhtar Donetsk and spent five seasons there. Fred was also in, in Ukraine. Fred was also in Ukraine. He was also there and he guess what? He growed, he learned. And everything. Although Manchester United fans would say they don't want him at the club, but you know, that's what. Davian Carr says, big up, big up, big up, big up. So that's the latest, guys. The latest is that Kahim Paris has signed with Dynamo Kiev in. The Ukrainian Premier League and he'll be available for selection for their first game of the Europa League so that tells us everything that you need to know right there hopefully this is something that gets over the line in terms of playing time so that's going to be crucial moving forward and hopefully it gets done quite soon So, Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about this move of this nature? How do you feel? Are you happy with the move? Do you think this is a progressive move in his career? Or do you look at it from another perspective? How do you analyze this situation in particular? Do you think that this is the best move for him? That, that is a good look. Yeah, you're right, it is. Hope he opens doors for others. I hope so too. Wow, this is a big club. This is good news, yeah. Is Ukraine safe now? Ukraine is in a better position now than it was a couple of months ago. So that is progression. We can produce good ballers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 100%. I have to agree with you there. This is something that has been done and can be done. And moving forward, something that should not be ignored. Devon Smith says, how are you? I'm doing good, you know. How things your end? How are things? Up, Simon, and everyone in the chat. Blessings upon blessings. I personally think the Ukraine League is better the market than Russia. Better market in terms of attracting players to England, Spain, Germany, France, Italy, yes, 100% there. How is that fella doing at Toulouse? Junior Flemings, not getting a lot of game time. Not a lot of game time, honestly. Like up the live, Marcus Messiah Garvey. Yeah. 
A move to the Netherlands would have been the perfect move before they appreciate wingers with his playing style there. It wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me if if the Netherlands is his next move. It would not surprise me at all. Daily came on today for FC Copa. Yep. Leaving cards is a very good move for Paris. I'm happy you all have that that view. I'm really, really happy that you guys have that viewpoint. I feel like there's some strides to be made. And this is one of them. And this is one of the moments where you have to lift your hat and say, good move. This is where one of those times where you have to give applause to the work that was done in developing him as a player. This is one of those times where you have to basically praise the work that has been done. So at this point in time, you say, well done. You say, well done. Progress. The fee is just a shade over 1 million euros. So there we go. Romoy Reed says, I don't want to be negative. We need to have a serious conversation. If these lads can only get moves to Eastern Europe, then that should speak to the quality. I keep saying Brazil is right there. I understand what you're saying, Romoy Reed, and there are Jamaicans in Brazil. There are Jamaicans in Brazil. I'm sure you've heard about Chantamoy Taylor. He's there. Chantamoy is there. Mm -hmm. As someone who's never seen this young lad play, how would you describe his playing style? Direct, forward thinking, clever. Uses two feet well, dangerous. Out of all the moves I see floating around, this is the most realistic and smart one. The deal is done, my friend. The deal is done. The deal is done. Done, 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 done. Ramoy Reed says, Go watch Sporting Lisbon and watch Marcus Edwards. You see real football. I'm happy for Kahim on a personal level, but it speaks to the JPL. These guys can only go to Eastern Europe. No, these guys cannot only go to Eastern Europe, and that's the only part that I disagree with you there. I agree that some players need to improve in terms of the agents that they get, but the agents have one job. And I do think there are other opportunities out there, but it's all about patience. Kahim Paris, this is not the top of his mountain at all. Kiev, how will the war affect him? It's not as bad as it was. Probably the most technical winger we have. I guess you could say that. How are they playing the league with what's going on in Ukraine? The league is playing, my friend. The league is on. Just like people who say, how can you play football during COVID? The show must go on. And the show is going on. And football is being played. Dynamo Kiev, in terms of when they play in European competition, they play their home games in Poland. 
in Krakow. But in terms of games in games in the Ukrainian Premier League, Dynamo Kiev are going to play their games at Arena Lviv. So the league has started, and the league is going to go. And the league is going to continue on and on and on and on and on and on. Up, up. Nothing is wrong with playing in Eastern Europe. Many Brazilians use Ukraine and Russian leagues as a gateway to the top leagues. Yeah. Many Brazilians have used those leagues. Many Brazilians have even used leagues in the Netherlands. Many of them have used leagues in Belgium as well. So it is another bridge and it is a step up. So I look at it as a plus and one that should be really, really talked about. So really happy. The deal is done. I know. I am okay of player. Let's see what you guys are saying in the comments. But certainly a lot of excitement is building for Dynamo Kiev and basically making strides and, and progress this campaign. You know, the club feels like they can have a deep run within the Europa League. And let's see if they can do so. In terms of the club, 16 Ukrainian Premier League titles, 13 Ukrainian Cups, 9 U Ukrainian Super Cups, 2 UEFA Cup Winners Cups, 1 UEFA Super Cup. So a club with pedigree. A club with experience. Remember, this is a club that, that Andrei Shevchenko used to play for. This is a club where Shevchenko was nurtured and grown and developed. Yep, Dynamo Kiev just before his move to, to Milan. And of course, we know after Milan, he went over and played for Chelsea. In fact, the three Ukrainians that won the Ballon d'Or came from Dynamo Kiev. Andrei Shevchenko, Oleg Blokin, and Igor Belenov. All came through Dynamo Kiev. All of them. Great club. Great club. So, so this is great. War slowed down a lot. People in Ukraine are basically living a normal life now. True. A lot of Brazilians is in the Ukraine league, so why you want Jamaican players for Ronaldo go Brazil? Paris moves are based off his hard work. He's doing it without no significant international cap to his name. That's how it's done when you force players to go to France first division and can see the first team. Yeah. He from Phoenix Academy? Paris? No. Paris can show his skills in the Europa League. And he can win a title in Ukraine. Just thinking aloud, Simon, not to dis digress from Paris, but one of our local brothers and sisters realized how massive Jama Grand Jamaica is. I don't think we realize it. I don't think we have. Jamaica are ninth in the world for Jamaica's men's lacrosse team. Jamaica are 21st in the world for Jamaica's rugby league team. Jamaica are third in the world in netball. Jamaica is basically an extremely talented nation. Extremely talented nation. Do you think he can get a national call-up? He's played for Jamaica before, so getting a call-up is not something that is unusual to him. Would we call him for the Argentina game? 
we can get some games on this belt at Kiev, then yeah. Some yeah. players get a move straight from Brazil to one of the top five leagues. So it would make much a difference. Mm. Is there any other Jamaican in a European competition? Yeah, you have Mikel Antonio in the Europa League, UEFA Conference League. You have Kemar Roof in the Champions League. So yeah, you do. Just to explain the Brazil League is better for the youth development. You're more likely to go straight from Brazil to a top 15 league. But Brazil then go Ukraine, it's for the money, not development. Like I said, you have Jamaicans that are already in Brazil. I wouldn't recommend Brazil as a route for every single player, but it is a league that can be spoken about. And share, brothers, this news is exclusive. That's right. Dynamo Kiev, yeah, a big side that you know. I like Dynamo Kiev in your big side. Very, very big side. Very, very big side. And look how happy Paris is to sign the deal. Come on, guys, like the video. See how happy Kaim is? Look how happy he is. Doesn't he look really happy? Go happy is. He's happy to make that move. Hit that like button if you're happy for Kahim Paris right now. If you're happy for Kahim Paris, hit that like button right now. Yep, so hit that like button. Come on, lads. If Brazil wanted money, they would go to China or Saudi Arabia. We give everyone except United fans, them dead Sunday. Ellie, re relax, relax, relax. We'll put you in a timeout. It's all about pathway. In the Eastern Europe, I see you, it's often getting lost. That region is very difficult culture, different culture-wise and weather, it's not easy. Call Ryan LFC and you guys. Manchester United should win the Europa League though. You think so? Let's see. Let's see. More clubs will not get to see him. It's a good look. Dynamo is a big club with massive fan base. He'll be playing Euro European football, most likely Champions League next season from qualifying round. Yes, so with Dynamo Kiev, they're in the group stages of the UEFA Europa League right, right now. And if they finish top of the group, then they can get to the knockout stages. If they finish third, then they head to the Europa Conference League. They're going to take in shots. Simon, you dead -ish delivering great news. LOL says Raja Kanai. Big up. Bless up, Simon says Blake Hilton. Hope you're doing well, Blake. Local grown, organic. This is breaking news for all of us. This is great news. Wow. Brazil, Argentina, Mexico are good leagues for our 16 year olds to get contract in. Mm. It really will depend on the player and his, his skill set. But they are good leagues, yes. Who would you like to see as in the second game for the September window? I would love for Jamaica to play, even if it's against Cayman. I'll take it tomorrow morning. Cayman, Haiti, Dom Rep, Puerto Rico. I'll play one of those right now. I don't care about the opposition after the Argentina game. 
I just want us to play a game. That's all. Hard to say, but man, you better without Cristiano Ronaldo. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I personally believe if he wants to go, let him go in January. Honestly, he's done so much for the club already. And I know between now and, and January, he's still going to make the club some good money. I know about that. Jersey sales are going to skyrocket. Ronaldo, attention, the stocks are going to go up. So from that perspective, Cristiano Ronaldo has done great for Manchester United off the pitch. And for Marcus Rashford to be around him, the Jaden Sanchos to be around him, the Anthony Alanga to be around him, it's just a great environment for him to be in. If Tapa did smart, this man would be in the team with Walker, McGee, Daly, Vassal, Brown, Topi. Why are people talking about, as Ryan says, such man? Why are people talking about such man? But uh, on a serious note, can somebody explain what does such man mean? When people say such man or such woman, what does that mean? Yeah. I would appreciate it. It would help. But I always say that Jamaica play in the lower league in Europe and work their way up because the top five leagues in Europe are always stopping the lower leagues for games. Yeah, that's right. So I personally don't have a problem with that. He is too old. Who is too old? Oh, Ronaldo. Mm. Big up Paris. A dream will come true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means a person is a... Thank you. Uh, thank you. And now get what you're saying. Such man. Tell him about such man. Tell him about such man. Yeah, man, tell him about such man. And such man, none of this. And such man, none of that. And re Tell him about such man, you know. And tell him about such man. Tell him about such man. Simon, did I hide this one from us till the deal is done? Yeah, I never want to set a deal done, my G, because the deadline had passed, and only under certain conditions can a deal come through after deadline day. If a deal is in the process and you at least show evidence that a medical is going to be done or going to be, or has been done, then you would have an extension, and, and it can be confirmed the next day. So, yeah. That's the situation. Such man is a cold word, not to state the obvious. Okay. Kareem share agent with Shamar Nicholson, yeah. The reason it was allowed, the Ukraine transfer window is longer. That's true. Do you hear anything new about Mason Greenwood? I'll provide an update on Mason Greenwood sometime next week. So the Ukraine, the window in Ukraine, Belgium, a few other leagues are still open, Simon. Yeah, that is true. Good point, Brogard. That is true, one Brogard. You are absolutely right there. That is true. Excellent point.
I read about it after I know that Paris did not play. Christian should included in a match day squad. Yeah, that's right. So, Reggae Boys fans, what are your thoughts about this move in particular? What are your thoughts about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this move in particular. If you're happy about it, if you're disappointed about it. More content to come on the channel. As you know, the Reggae, reggae Girls play over the weekend, and we'll have some stuff to talk about as it relates to other Jamaicans across the globe and so on and so forth. So thank you so much for tuning in. Much appreciated. And don't forget as well to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content as the channel is extremely close to 15,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button right now. All right, guys, hit it right now. This video is brought to you by Maypen Educational Center, catering to evening CSEC classes and chess classes. Call 876-337-7374 or 876-775-6692. We got you covered preparing for exams. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471.